And deeper and deeper I go. I find what it is I should know. Cause it's just a matter of time. But you'll reawaken your mind. Oh, come with me. Come to know and find out what is true. Then you know what's in store just for you. No more living the life. I can look to the sky and say, I'm reawakening mine. Come to know and find out what is truth, yes. Then you know what's in store just for you. No more living the life. I can look to the sky and say, I'm reawakening minds. Happy Holy Day, Moors. Welcome to House of Reawakening Minds. House of Reawakening Minds exists to provide for the exploration and practice of spirituality in an enlightened community dedicated to honoring the myriad of sacred pathways to the universal creator. We are an awakening center for spiritual grounding, free thought, self-discovery, and more science, a learning experience for all ages. Tonight, our National Grand Sheikh, Taj Tariq Bey, and I are pleased to present Yaqub's Jacob's Ladder, the unholy reality of the hybridization experiments. But before we begin, please be sure, be sure to like, be sure to share, and if you have not already done so, Subscribe to our channel. Islam, Islam. Islam, Dr. G. Islam, Grand Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. Body make them. Going aboard. We are happy to be here with you today once again. It just seems like we were just here like a few days ago, but it's it seems like it. Large time is, you think they messed it with time? Well, you know, time is speeded up anyway. Yeah, well, the call time has speeded. Yeah, up. it seems like you know, it seems like it was just like a few days ago. With mm -hmm. so, I mean, I know I was on here Tuesday um, mm -hmm. with Brother Emmanuel, but it seemed like you and I were, you know, yeah, sitting, sitting here all, doing right. what we're doing. But right back again, back again. Listen, back time. in the saddle again. Or time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> into what's into the future. Does hey, anybody listen. know what time it is? <laughs> Time has come today. Mm -hmm. Time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, we acting crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> we good. We good. We here. We here. We here. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah, so today, um, wow, the subject. And then we've had some other things that have come in today that have kind of like made, we probably will. Well, it's intermixed. Right. It really is, you know, like all things are relevant. Mm -hmm. You know, just like, you know, like uh, very often when we're talking, and uh, a, a lot of times, you know, you, you'll you make mention of things that you're doing on the office of Dr. G. Office hours with Dr. G. Out, office hours. <laughs> that official office uh, hours. No. Dr. G. No, just office hours. Oh, all right. So official hours. But the deal of a lot of the, the issues that you may discuss are all relative because everything, because when you're talking about more science, you're talking about the, both the human history. And the human condition. Absolutely, absolutely. And the metaphysics. People think it's separate. No, because remember, Drew Ali is known as Professor Drew, the great Egyptian Adept metaphysician. I did not know. So you gotta, you you know, when people keep thinking that those subject matters are separate, the concept is wrong. Absolutely. It's probably nothing you can go into without talking more science because you're talking about human culture human civilizations, all of the disciplines, their derivatives, their morphologies, mm -hmm. the chemistry, and the ascensions of the human physical and spiritual being, all of us included. Okay. You know, so if you get if you get in, in any subject matter when you know like when you hear people say, well what is more science? On the surface they would call it cosmology. Mm -hmm. But cosmology, the cosmos is the universe. You know, and so all things under the universe capable for man to uh, comprehend, to understand, to understand, to overstand, to deal with is more science. Okay. Both the positive and the negative. Because the issue, because you in, in, in the process of development, whether in the physical, 
the political, the geopolitics, or the spiritual. All of it deals with philosophy. This is why when you get in any degree of what you would call uh, adaptship, they give you what? PhD, doctor of philosophy. So if, it's not, if you're an adult, you're still a PhD, right? Yeah. It, 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 when you got your degrees, right? That's mm -hmm. PhD in that. Well, area. I got a THD. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. But um, so let's be real. Here on, you know, even when you're dealing with office hours of Dr. J. Oh, uh, and shout out to our brother Emmanuel. Yes, um, yes, thank you so much for our yes. so If you all did not catch um Tuesday night's go back broadcast, and catch it. go back and catch last Tuesday, this past Tuesday's broadcast. Yeah, but, great conversation. Yeah, it was a uh, you know and building across you know connecting. And you know the side. beautiful thing about the conversation you was having with uh brother Emmanuel? <laughs> the conversation itself can be examined, right? Mm -hmm. So brother Emmanuel, if you're listening. Go right back over the same conversation and then study it for spelling. Now, because everything, for the most part, everything that we're doing. When you say spelling, are you mean like casting? Yes. Casting spelling. Because remember, spelling that's what word. language is for. Right. Right. So what does language do? It paints a picture. Right. So the mind doesn't hear words. The mind sees pictures. Mm -hmm. Whether you're speaking, touching, or smelling, the mind sees pictures or images, right? right. This is why, like, when, when you're talking philosophically, they'll say they're giving you an allegory, mm -hmm. you know, even symbols, stuff like that, right? Parables, all of those paint pictures. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and so the choice of words or the placement of words, which is orthology, in the art of speech, which is called gram grammatication, are basic to human communication. And the interesting thing, when you talk about spelling, um, those who um, practice any type of witchcraft, be it black or white magic, they call and they keep their their spells in a grimoire or grimoire or a gra like a grammar book. It, there, a grimoire. Don't they do incantations? In yes. Isn't that what? Isn't that orthology? Mm -hmm. Choice of placement. Even when, you know, like, like they're saying certain chants, right? Mm -hmm. uh, an instructor, because vibration is sound, right? Or pronounce, pronoun, pronoun, pronunciations, et cetera. Then if you're an instructor, you would, you'd say, well, yes, put emphasis on this syllable for effect. You know what? I, I was listening. I had a reading. And I know we're mm -hmm. digressing a little bit, but we'll get to it, y'all. No, it's still yeah, relative. I had a reading. I want to say it was I was back when I was doing, Um, you remember when I used to be on Blog Talk Radio with Yusuf, Brother Yusuf L. I was on the High Frequency Radio Network. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I had my show there before. Mm -hmm. So it had to be prior to 2017. So I had a reading with one of my guests. Um, uh, and I was listening. I listening to the audio of it just the other day. Mm -hmm. And I noticed because what she does is channel a group of, of galactic beings, right? Mm -hmm. And um, called the team. And I went back and listened to this thing, which was like like 2016. And they had told me a lot of things that mm -hmm. I actually had not put into practice. You, you mm -hmm. know, come to find, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, wow, wow. But the the thing, the point that I want to make is that as they were talking to me, because her voice changes and everything. What as she was talking to me, the for instance said, you know, you know such and such and such and such is, is right, yes. And they would go yes at the end of each each thing that they were trying to head home into me. So before I could say no, they said, you know, such and such to be true. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's something to when speakers speak and they give you the affirmative, so they're already telling you which way to go. Mm -hmm. You know such and such, yes. Did not you know such and such which gives it gives you the option of saying no I don't know and if you and if you <laughs> notice even in that communication right yeah <laughs> what are yes. they what are they what do you see the underlying which is the telecommunication even with the yes mm -hmm. it means does your free will recognize the path because the rule of your movement is always free will we can't tell you what to do. Right. We show you the left and the right, the red pill and the blue pill. 
you make the choice. Okay. Even in the negative, like they'll tell you, or uh, even those who, who practice dark side, right? What if on the dark side, just like we were looking at uh, 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 um, Sylvia, right? We were looking at Sister uh, earlier. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, who wrote The Matrix, mm -hmm. right? And The Terminator, right? Mm -hmm. What is she presenting based on her spiritual? See, that those are spiritual lessons. They're not just adventures. Those are spiritual lessons. However, most people think that spiritual is going praying or worshiping. Mm -hmm. The concept is wrong. All of that must be corrected. It is to put you, it is to put before you reference points that were deliberately moved, removed to misdirect you so that you can, by your free will, make correct or intelligent choice. But they can't tell you to do this because that's a violation. Right. And it's like we can't, you know, which we can't, you know, and, and the reason exactly. why and, and the reason why I go there is, you know, just that, you know, without naming names or even locations of people, we have a situation that we've been dealing with me since this morning. And then you, you know, not just just recently, the same thing. And someone's perception and, you, you know, you are picture. Right. You are. You listen to us. You've listened to Grand Sheik for many, some of you, many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. And 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 then you you know some of you listen have listened to me for the last few, a few years and so forth and us together, and at the end of the day though the conclusions that you come up with these these are yours but I you know I used to teach this I would say but if you're you know if if your concept is wrong, then your conclusion will ultimately be wrong because folks a lot of times get concepts wrong and a lot of times you're teaching and we're teaching precepts and concepts that need further examination, further, um, uh, you know, research and, and all that good stuff. But if you jump to in harmony, jump to conclusions, then, you know, that that whew, the concept will lead to an incomplete or incorrect conclusion. Now, now in con in in, in, in uh, harmony with what you just said at our last session. Right. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, this work is over 20 years old, basically. Right. But you see there relations and concepts concepts right. so if you know what their their obligation is those the party that's in conflict with you or in breach with you or that you have controversy right it this is not your your opinion or my opinion this is the established law by which they must deal with you now because they have claimed the position of government, this is their obligation. This is not something for them to find out or something that you need to inform them about. Mm -hmm. They already know this, meaning this is their job description, right? Right. Now, no different than uh, when you were uh, in, in, in practice as a pastor, right? Mm -hmm. Your obligation was to know the history, the nature, and the general tenets of the book from which you were dispensing positions. Absolutely. Because you're qualified as an adept to present the concepts which parables are given to make it clear in the mind of what it is. Mm -hmm. However, at the same time, if those who present to you hide certain things, they've left keys out that weakens your position. And Absolutely. that's called that's called deception. And that's what a lot. <laughs> now, that's called deception. With. But that's on their part. So it's no different than like as an example. Like those who know the the uh, the the uh, fu fundamental culture or Berber culture, right? Mm -hmm. Moabite Canaanite culture from which the Septuaginta, the book of the dead, open up mouth by day type thing, right? Mm -hmm. Egypt, what they call, but we know Egypt is hit cooked up, right? So, you, you know, if you study the culture, you know that. You don't need somebody to tell you that. Whether people are practicing that truth or not is not the argument. Right. If you're a position of instructor, you're obligated to that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, so as an example, Garden of Eden, right? So people's general, one of the layers of the concept, because it's layers, 
is actually order culture. By principle, in order for you to relate to the zygote, to the egg, to the fetus, to the evolutionary development of growth of a cellular structure at the same time. So Genesis deals also with genetics, if you get the point. Now, if you're taught from the original culture, you know that from the instructor. But if the structure, had, if the instructor weren't, wasn't told that, that a lot of these things are allegorical, then whoever told the instructor deliberately held back by cause. And, or, and, maybe, and maybe whoever told the instructor didn't know because you know what comes to mind is that 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 game that we play around the table y'all you know how um you know he, he grand sheik starts it off and puts for something into my ear and i have to, you know we have to pass it all around the table and like nine times out of ten you know one portion par partially way through the whole thing has changed so mm -hmm. if if that if that's been watered down or the deception happened which was early on if it's been watered down by the time it gets to you know the person at the end of the table they're the to they've told they've been told a lie or an untruth exactly or we're talking rules of the game so now here are the rules of the game fundamentally you know just like if we're playing spades just playing you know spades monopoly right mm -hmm. if there's any controversy or confusion justice is available to all what is it called look on the cardboard box look on the label or on the back of the cover it will tell you the rules of the game we don't need to argue or have five meetings. When you're dealing with human condition or social structure or nations, right? California. Just like if you're talking about, if people are talking about the Bible and Quran, or uh, Waspi, Torah, right? Talmud, different type, that, that, you'll see one common thread. You'll be talking about interchanges between nations and kingdoms for the most part estates and birthright those are fundamental so those fundamental core subject matters should be in the fundamental learning curve for persons who are being instructed with these books right by the instructor mm -hmm. however this is what you'll discover dr j while those things are mentioned what you discover that most people that go into those books if you if you quiz them on the basics of any of those subject matters, like nation states, right? Mm -hmm. Which deal with nationality, which means jurisdictional distinctions of heritability issues, of herit hereditaments, right? Mm -hmm. Those things are addressed in that. And what you find that when you're dealing with people that look at those books, most of the people, those subject matters, they're not grounded in. And you have this conversations in those subject matters and they don't even relate to it because the priesthood have told them that those books are not civic mm. when the books are civic and for the most part have nothing to do at all with worshiping anything has to do with people questioning things that they don't comprehend or understand or experiencing uh, anomalies in the heavens that they didn't recognize and assume it to be one thing or another thing and made discussions on it without clarifications and then pass that on. And that has been distorted by the priesthood into being other things as an example. What is known when you go into the verbal culture? Garden of Eden not only deals with the principles of the allegory of the seed of a plant and its nature uh, in relationship to germination in the, in the soil, right? Mm -hmm. And so it does that and shows you relationship to the womb and the zygote or the egg attached in the womb and now it evolves and shows you the relativity so that you can look at that there's certain common things that are related in organic nature so that you could have a better comprehension or understanding or understanding of self in the physical form. However, at the same time, when you go into the, 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 the um, Berber culture, you'll see that the Garden of Eden also deals with what you call a protective shield. Not unlike an, uh, the shield of an egg that protects the um, mitochondria, right? The white and the yolk of the egg, etc. 
So is there also an energy seal that actually deals with the universal energies? It's also referred to as in the Garden of Eden. However, that's not taught by the priesthood because not because it's not available. It because it com it makes the um, the reconstructed paradigm that they've presented for sectalism makes it void. Therefore, they leave it out and only tell parts of the story. This is where you get the sectalism or what they call the different sects, etc. And that has, for the most part, a social political motive by the priesthood, priesthood not that the information is not available. And so by, by deliberate misrepresentation, they've created what? Schisms amongst humanity that they took the position to so-called uplift and actually have them fighting each other based on misguided opinion or what you call limited comprehension or understanding of things while not telling the people the origins of these things. Not, not unlike, uh, as an example, like 3-9, uh, you know, 39 book in the in, uh, Bible is an example. Talk about Ruth the Moabitess, right? And that's Yahshua's great great grandmother, right? Mm -hmm. So Moabite is the bloodline, right? So if Ruth the Moabite, what does that imply with her grandson, whom they call Jesus, who you know his name is Yahshua? He's Moabite. You, you know, but the, the signal is there. But then if they tell the people that they can't turn around and act like Jesus was a Roman, can they? And then and then have a picture of a paleolith that they promote through the centuries and say to the people that that's a picture of Jesus. And that's the concept that the people have. And what they've done in our and actually case, he had hair like lamb's wool. Feet like he's brass. Right. Feet which like means he's brass. copper colored. Right. What is the modern name for the Moabites? Moroccan. What is the short for Moroccan? Moor. Moor. What is the Moroccans of the Western Hemisphere? Al Moroccan or American. Mm -hmm. All of that's traceable, not hidden. All scholars, all anthropologists know that. However, because of the politics, right? It's not emphasized, although it's there, right? So reference points are deliberately held back, moved or distorted to what? To create pictures of falsehood. It's called deception. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. so so we, we let's talk about you know we, the ancient Moabites. The title of of t t t um, tonight's uh, yes. discussion is Yacoub. um, Yacoub's uh, or Jacob's ladder, and um, mm -hmm. just to, you know, thinking in terms of uh, it was funny that I turned on one of those little you know where you know they have the couple of people who who um, review they the tic TikTok they do the TikTok like videos and they they commentate on the TikTok videos and the one. That um, turned on just maybe about just a couple hours. Ago, they were talking about Yakub, and I was like, "Wow, that's what our uh, our discussion for tonight has to do with." But to hear the young brother's um, description of Yakub, you know, he showed the picture. He called him, you know, he said cauliflower head. He mm. said that he, uh, you know, he said that Yakub created that. There was a time when everyone on on the planet was melanated like us until Yaku, the scientist decided that he was going to create uh, another race because he said he did not love like himself. Do you remember he said, I don't yeah, know. They that. said that, but they said that. we don't know that, but this is what no, the young brother was now, saying. Now, this is back to what I was saying to you, Dr. G, mm -hmm. uh, where, where people who have the information mm -hmm. because of uh, their schism agendas will not give the real history. And he's young. He probably didn't even know. No. He probably got that from he's using, he's using reasoning. Okay. What is you know what is logic on on an emotional point of view? Because you would think that if someone is of bloodline with you, why would that person or persons do something that's counter to the organic, economic, social, or heritability issue with you? Meaning that why would your brother? Or sister do something to harm you? Why would they accept a stranger before their own blood? Well, and therefore the concept would be that's a treasonous act. Why would they do that? Now, that would be on surface if you don't have informational background. 
Yeah. Right now. Do we have do we have background on yes. why the yes. the um yes. you know the yes. scientific yes. Yes. experimentation yes. took place? This is why we do what we do. Okay. Now, the same way, like um, you'll see more people, whether Asiatics or Europeans, of late. This is not new information. However, it hasn't been what you call general public discussion. Why? From amongst the Grange, Illuminati, Kyklos, Odd Fellows, Prince Hall, Masons, others, Eastern Stars. When they become a part of those orders, they have oath not to reveal this information. They're, most of them, and it doesn't mean people that go into these orders are necessarily dishonorable, but it's sort of like someone going to private meetings and then they sign a non-disclosure mm -hmm. before they go there. Then when they find out what they got, you know, you can't you you can't go you can't go back. Right. You can go forward, but you can't go back. Type yeah. thing. Yeah. All right. And if you break the oath, um, things happen like disappearance, yeah. family threats, and stuff like that. Right. Now, what is it? that I presented to you in studies, in our conversations, that makes uh, Professor Drew different in some ways. Although he himself is a mother son, just like all men are mother sons, right? First, in modern time, in the absolute public arena, not that others didn't know, even people were working around him, that organized a platform for a direct countermeasure to the Unum Sanctum Doctrine of Discovery operations of the dark priesthood of the Kazarian Mafia on the planet Earth and eventually lost his life for it, but he did it. Now, same knowledge, right? How you use it. Now, what is the other issue? Uh, and what have I presented to you, even when we, as an example, when we talk about this, right? Mm -hmm. We also recognized, which I showed you, and this was just to give, you know, uh, informational support, right? Right, that's the Library of Congress, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the registration number. So that's reference it. That means that's researchable. Although you can't get this without a certificate, that's rep, that that's rep, that means that they know it. So when people assume that they don't know this information, your concept of, is incorrect. So why do I share this? I share this to let you know that it's not limited to my knowledge, right? And the Copyright Office, basically, even a lot of people over the years that was angry, angry at me for the Library of Congress, that's because it's listed on the truth way A1 of Library of Congress office, right? Copyright office, right? Now, we were, um, uh, say about 30 years ago, right? A little over 30 years ago. It's actually 35, 35 years ago. 12 notes, and there, there was a form that you send to the Library of Congress copyright office, but you would only get that from members of the Order of the Great Seal or at a, someone that's in that degree. You would mail that to Washington District of Columbia to the de facto operatives for the United States Corporation Company. They would verify and that 12 notes would cover the three major certificate costs, the printing, the mailing, and stuff like that, that's what it covered, right? Well, upon that, you would receive your certificates, AA222, one for one, and two other certificates dealing with Moorish identity, nationality and Moorish identity, for the record. They would mail those certificates back to you in your free national uh, name, right? Not a straw. Free national name, right? Which you would already put that on notice. So now you have what by law 
by right of copyright the right to have in your you you see this booklet you, you saw this one in here circle of life right mm -hmm. that's one of them and also more identification nationality card etc and also your 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 acknowledgement of your standing it's not that they can't give it to you you're claiming it so now you're on the record with the what the primal federal level of government, their obligation is now all their subordinates are obligated, right? So now the copyrighted work is in your hand and now you must use it honorably. But the point that I'm making to you, Dr. G, is this is not unknown information. What happened? It's just not public. What happened to change those things? It's not that it changes, it's sort of like, when I was um, I was uh, elected as a mayor of the, of the Order of the Great Seal of the Eastern Territory that that were from Connecticut, uh, um, um, New Amsterdam, uh, etc. You know, New York area stuff like that. Um, Jersey um, to deal with Order of the Great Seal, and also dealing with the rudder and sextant fundamental structure of government. The Moorish history, dispensation of that history, etc. Um, enforcement of constitution and treaty, which is constitution, in accord with the principles laid out by Noble Drali, the information, because the law already existed, right? That's aside from the Moor Science Temple of America. That's that's a another platform, but the principle is the enforcement of the law and the history. But the point that I'm making to you. I, I, when I saw over the years as I've traveled and I saw dealt with so many people from different organizations, including talking to people from other national jurisdictions who also knew this information, but it's not their position to present this, meaning that it's not somebody's position from Palestine, as an example, to come over in this jurisdiction. They could do it. But to teach us when it's the obligation of the Moors here to teach their own, like it is in other, you talk, you're talking about national jurisdiction, if you get the point. Meaning that it's not the obligation of the, the Russians to come here and deal with the Negro problem to correct it when they know that all of these Adams here, these people with PhDs, regardless of the organization that they belong to, they got PhDs, right, to, to not promote the code system, the Christian black codes, and tell these people that they're not black. Not unlike what Obama did. What did Obama do? When he went to Egypt, what did he do? He, he gave a whole conversation on a treaty, the relationship of the United States Corporation Company with the Moroccan Empire, the obligation to treaty, et cetera, and gave enough information for the people to have something to work off of and he even show the flag. Right. So he did. He did his piece. However, that didn't remove the fact that other people knew this. Even no, not unlike when Il Malik made the Hajj, he found that out and caused problems with the people he was dealing with that he discovered was holding the information back from him. And of course, him is like, didn't it? Well, same thing with Khalid. What happened to Brother Khalid when he started telling these people that they're Moors? All of a sudden, he's had this so-called aneurysm by himself in the hotel. You know, this information is not unknown, what I'm saying to you. What people need to know, let's give some background to the real human condition dynamics so that people have a comprehension of the political realm and the geopolitics that makes it obvious their allegiances, the conditions of their allegiances, their non-allegiances, and those who have deceived them or who have presented to them Trojan horse concepts in order to divert them from the restoration of their estate, which is the politics which most people don't know that that's the politics. They think they have a problem of someone not, not liking their color, not even knowing that the color does not mean what they think it means, even that. So I'm just saying that as a synopsis. 
So recognizing that people, many of the people don't have a concept of the overall human condition at Midgard, right? We're giving a background because now you're dealing with what? The nations, plural, right? Relative to geopolitics, what did Novodrali do relative to that same principle? He did a major documented, documented dispensation or address to the nations. He says, what? Novodrali's, what? Plea to the nations, right? Nate, that's plural. So let's go a little deeper and go into the history of the Maghreb and more specific to the peninsula of Old Amexum, Old Central Amexum, which will be hidden in history as Old Mech. Old Mech is short for Old Amexum. Now, those who know the real history knows Old Amexum. Mm -hmm. In the controlled narrative, it's Old Mech. And even then with limitation, just showing you stoneheads and telling you that many of them are millions of years old and some of them, they can't even date them. And then those that they try to put a date on, it's usually underrated, but they don't tell you too much more. But it's obvious when you see them old heads that they're Moabite Canaanites. Is it also uh, quite possible that those heads are attached to bodies that are underground and covered because there's been so much? Or are they? That too. Yeah. But a lot of them were done just as a uh, spherical, too. You mean just like a bust? And also, yes. And uh, also dealing with uh, jurisdictions. How so? Jurisdictions mean like when you deal with territorial jurisdictions. So they put that there. Yeah, the, that so like a, like a totem. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, so we not only have like what you call totems on what you call trees. We also that that would be also a totem. Okay. You know, so that's secondary. That's cultural, but that's not secret. If you get the point, it's just not necessarily discussed. Because remember. When they're telling Aboriginal history, they always try to present these things as unconnected because they want to create schism, like the people aren't related or like somebody was just came over here 20 years ago or somebody came over here on a ship and stuff. And we've been here for millions of years, Absolutely. you know, but anyway, uh, let's cut through the chase. We're going to let me see how many pages here because I don't want to hold up too much because I want to give you something to work with. So we'll go with, this is the synopsis, right? And even though this is not much, this gives you a synopsis of both the, both the, the, uh, the experiment fundamentally, right? And the geography, right? Here's the geography of the Yucatan, right? So those who have the knowledge know geographical locations, and then you refine them too, dealing with longitude and latitude. But basically, you've got the geographical locations, right? They know about Aunt Hagar. They call you hear them talking about Aunt Hagar all the time. And a lot of times they'll show her as a witch in or the Hagar, standing on the chest type stuff. They tell you a different mystery thing, but that's Aunt Hagar. Her grave is in the Mecca in Mecca. That that grave, that's her grave. Right, and they got the stone in the other corner. So when people think there is no connection on both sides of the water, concept is wrong. So those who know don't make that mystical separation that is promoted in what you call contemporary so-called history. Well, let's cut through the chase. Let's go through a couple of pages to give you something to work with. <clears throat> Well, I'm just giving you a little bit. So in, in, in subject, this is short history. Yaku, Kukasus, Kushitis. Now, Kukasus is where you get caught 
Caucasian, Caucasian from. Yeah. That's that that the name is given to the mountain area and to the heterogeneous hybrid breed. All right. So that's where that middle name of Yakub. So that's K A U K A S U S. Caucasus. Cushitis. Now that's Cush, you see. So you understand Cush in the Bible? Here you go. Because mm -hmm. we're Cushite too. You, you, you need to know your history. And you know, now, so geography, right? Old Central Amexum. A M E X E M. Which is Old Central Africa. Which is Old Mech. Which is Olmec, which is Central America, which is ancient Moabite matriarchate. So now you're talking about the political jurisdiction. You're talking the names given to the geography location, geographical location at Midgard. And Midgard is the name of this particular earth, which means place or the dwelling place of the humans. That's what this is. All right. Some of the subject matters that's dealt with in this short treatise. It's not limited to this, but this is a short treatise. Knowledge is power, wisdom, Septuagint, Proverb 1.7, Bible, Proverb 1.7, Septuagint, Proverbs 1.2, Bible, Proverbs 1.2, the Edenic, Edenic Garden, Bible, Genesis 25.25, Septuagint, Exodus 3.2, Bible, Exodus 3.2, Bible, Acts 7.30, Yucatan, land of Judah, that would, you would call it Judah, as they told, is not, is Judah, all right? The J is not pronounced, you know, must know this. Map of Central America, the direct descendants of red people, color and vibration, Genesis 35.10, the Semites, Hagail, Hammurabia, known as really, it's really Hammurabi, map of Yucatan, land of Judah, bibliography. That's just a, a, a short. Now we'll go into certified registered fundamental synopsis of the history of the human family, the history of Yakub, Yakub, Kushat, Kukasus, Kushitis. Knowledge is power. Being without it is most detrimental to oneself. Wisdom is the creator herself. And those who despise wisdom and instruction are fools. Knowledge is that state or fact of knowing and is associated with familiarity, awareness, cognizance, or understanding, which is gained through experience or study. Knowledge also relates to that sum or range of information and experience, which has been perceived, learned, or discovered via learning and erudition, <clears throat> pardon me, the intuitive apprehension of spiritual truths being that which relates to esoteric knowledge is called gnosis. And those who acquire the same or who study the same are called Gnostics. Wisdom is or relates to understanding that which is or what is true. Wisdom is associated with the capacity to decipher truth from falsehood, de jure from de facto, the real from counterfeit, and the like. One's capacity to distinguish misrepresented things or issues from that which is or those which are right and lasting demonstrate wisdom. Furthermore, using quote unquote common sense quote unquote, good judgment and quote unquote, reason is also 
associated with wisdom. Septuaginta, Proverbs 1.7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and there is good understanding to all that practice it. And piety toward God is the beginning of discernment, but the ungodly will set at naught wisdom and instruction. Holy Bible, Proverbs 1.7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Furthermore, one should aspire to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding. Septuagint. Proverbs 1.2, to know wisdom and instruction and to perceive the words of understanding. Holy Bible, Proverbs 1.2, to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding. With these thoughts, bear in mind that the history of the Moorish nation and all of its related subjects have not been taught since 1863 here in North America. The true history of the Moorish nation has been eliminated from public libraries and from the curriculum of all institutions of higher learning, from high schools, from colleges, and from universities of the USA and abroad of the quote unquote white society. And unfortunately, the quote unquote white society has educated the quote unquote Negroes to believe that their forefathers were brought from Africa to the USA as Negro slaves. This is the big, biggest white lie the world has ever known and is the basic reason why whenever truth appears among quote unquote blacks, the majority of them will flee from it, laden with fear, with jealousy, with hatred, and with violence. For you see, the quote-unquote blacks of North America believe that they have been told the truth all along, but they haven't. So when truth appears, they act negatively toward it. As a matter of fact, they will not believe anything unless it comes out of the quote-unquote white man's mouth. The quote-unquote white man's educational instructions or his formal publications. This is all the result of the lack of knowledge of truth. Paradoxically, though this great truth is the great body that will make them free. Again, referencing the Christian Bible, in which the quote blacks believe saint paul says prove all things hold fast to that which is good the following evidence shall be proof of the good toward which the quote unquote negroes should hold fast the original ancient north central and south africa is known today as north central and South America. They comprise the cradle of humanity and civilization and are also the lands of the Moabite Moorish nation. This is originally the land of our real forefathers and there is no traditional history which can go beyond this. Our Moorish ancestors descended from the dark-skinned Moabite nation and we are ourselves are the direct descendants of the Moorish nation and what our forefathers were we are today without doubt and that fact remains that our inherited nationality is still Moorish not Negro. At this point you are advised to endeavor to govern your emotions with an open mind. The origin of the name Negro is the basic reason as to why quote unquote blacks have been both feared and hated so badly by the pale-skinned people of the quote-unquote white society of the USA. We are aware that the category of astrology, global geography, and the history of the Moorish nation will conflict with nine out of every 10 persons in the USA 
especially those often referred to as quote unquote Negroes owing to their quote unquote Christian education. They have been too deeply instilled with emotional religious doctrines, dogmata, and distorted history as written by prejudiced European American educators during the last 100 years. And this group emotionally relies upon that which they have been taught to believe. Facts and testimony is not the foundation of their faith except in very rare cases. These people accept without question the beliefs of those among whom they are born and reared and will disbelieve even the evidences of their own senses rather than abandon the impractical emotional beliefs which have grown in them. Today, religious worshipers, quote unquote, have proven to the entire world that they would rather resort to emotional human hatred and fight, suffer, and die over the names of the mythical God and religion than to reasonably agree with simplified and applied truth. While reading these notes, you are advised to endeavor to be guided by common sound reasoning rather than by emotions, which are the result of your traditional beliefs in the quote unquote doctrines of religion. We are aware of the fact that the illusions that, and that the illustration of the science of the 12 signs of the Zodiac, the history of the Moabite Morse nation and the history of the Franciscan Anglo-Saxon nations are confusing to the reader owing to limited education of the majority of the masses. Nevertheless, the true history is that the Morse nation rose out of the corruption of the Moabite nation of this hemisphere over 1,371 years ago, calculated from 1951. So the calculation of this history is 1,371 years back from 1951. The Franciscan nations rose out of the corruption of the Moorish nation of this hemisphere in 1863, the era of the Union. The only true history during the past 1300 years is that of the Moorish nation, the Edenic Garden, known as the Garden of Eden. In the year 49,000 ancient Moabite, that's A.M., Yakub produced the red-skinned people, heterogeneous hybrids, Ibrida, so that's I-B-R-I-D-A, I-B-R-I-D-A, that's the heterogeneous hybrids, H-E-T-E-R-O-G-E-N-E-O-U-S, H-Y-B-R-I-D-S, Ibrida which animalistic experimentation with the crossbreeding of human and anthropoid pongidae. The subjects of that experiment consisted of 12 Moabite women and the Negro Yavera Araba or Reba chimpanzee, the manifest of which resulted in the name Negro. Repeat. The subjects of that experiment consisted of 12 Moabite women and the Negro Yavera Areba chimpanzee, the manifest of which resulted in the name Negro. The Yakubian experiment is referenced in the Septuagint and in the Bible and reflected in their books of Genesis. The said Adrida genetics is depicted as a story of the account of the conception and birth of Yaqub and Esau. Septuagint, Genesis 25.23 to 25.25. And the Lord said to Rebekah, there are two nations in thy womb and two people shall be separated from thy belly. 
and one people shall excel the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. And the days were fulfilled that she should be delivered, and she had twins in her womb. And the first came out red, hairy, all over like a skin. And she called his name Esau. And after this came forth his brother, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and she called his name Yaqub. Bible, Genesis 25.23, 25.25. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of peoples shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days be delivered, were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over, like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Yaqub. In relationship to the high sciences applied of self-observation and the analysis of the Moabite masters studied man as a creative being. Their motto was, man, know thyself, and thou will know the universe and the gods. Man is the microcosm of the macrocosm. He is the epitome of all worlds and all powers. He is the focusing and condensing point of the countless electromagnetic currents which in energizing become what may be called the living, conscious, vital electricity of incredible voltage, but hardly comparable to the form of electricity known to physicists. This magical creative power is variously symbolized in the Bible and in one place is mentioned as the bush that burned with fire, but was not consumed. Septuaginta, executive of Exodus 3.2, and an angel of the Lord appeared to him in flaming fire out of the bush. And he sees that the bush burns with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Holy Bible, Exodus 3.2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. Holy Bible, Acts 7.30. When 40 years were expired, there appeared to him in the wilderness a Mount Sinai, an angel of the Lord in a flame of fire in a bush. This powerful force, however, is a double-edged sword that cuts both ways. It exalts or degrades, improves or destroys, depending on the conditions. If activated unnaturally, without the power to control, it would give its deadly sting to him in which it was so unwisely awakened. For example, some people say that this same creative force was unnaturally activated by Yakub when he created the quote unquote red man. Because Yakub did not have 100% control over each of his subjects. As a result, the Ibrida creation, quote unquote, Ibrida creation, heterogeneous hybrids multiplied beyond any kind of control, leading to the great sting of the Asiatic Moorish nation around the world. The compound negative effects of the same were and are especially evidenced in regard to the so-called, quote unquote, blacks of North America. This said destructive recoil and injurious great sting, quote unquote, is why some people call Yakub, quote unquote, the devil. Yucatan, land of Judah. 
That's land of Judah, you would call it Judah, as they've told you, land of Judah. Yucatan is the peninsula geographically located in southeast Mexico and north central America. It comprises in these days southeast Mexico, north Guatemala, and Belize. Its spelling may be presented as Yucatan, Yucatan, or Yucatan. Mexico, see that? Mexico or Mexico, Mexico, meaning mixed, is the ancient land of Judah or Uda, Judah, Ham, Mu, the Cushite, and Chaldean nations. Repeat, Mexico or Mexico, Mexico, meaning mixed is the ancient land of Judah, Ham, Mu, the Cushite and Chaldean nations, and the Garden of Eden, all of which were established by Yuka, Yaqub, Israel, the last great genius and scientist of the Moabite nation, also located here in the Great Pyramid University of the original ancient Central Africa. This pyramid university is 24,000 years old and is the oldest university in the world. Naturally, it was built by the master mason craftsmen of the Moabite nation. It contains the geometry, the Latin, the algebra, the calculus, the trigonometry, and the calculations of the moon, sun, and the seven planets of the zodiac constitution law of the universe. Concerning the cycles of the evolution of both man and the universe. Yaqub Israel is called the father or God of the 12 tribes or Israel. Remember that people only call quote unquote God their father where fatherhood is a prominent feature of their social organization. Likewise, they only call God, quote unquote, a king, quote unquote, when the people have a king as a part of their political economy. The 12 tribes which comprise the human family are the Moorish nation. However, the basic reason why some, quote unquote, Moors label themselves Jews, quote unquote, is in honor of Yaqub Israel, the jewel of the 12 tribes of Israel, the creator of the red man, quote unquote, parenthesized, the white, the top tribe of Yaqub's creation. All Bible prophecy was handed down by Morluakin Il. M U U R hyphen L U hyphen A H hyphen K I N hyphen E L Moruakinil, the last high priest and prophet of the Moabite nation of ancient Mexico. Also, he passed on to his son Yakub Caucasus Cushitis, also known as the big headed scientist, all of the ancient wisdom of the family priestly clan. At this time, the Moabites had tremendous spiritual powers and could have used them to humanize mankind and to control the creation, growth and development of the material world in harmony with nature. Instead, they expanded their scientific knowledge through the use of quote unquote black magic and used this knowledge for purely selfish and materialistic enterprises. The corrupt Moabite nation was on its last legs, for its people had even gone so far as to alter the beautiful weather conditions around the world. Today, as a result of this quote-unquote sin, this blatant abuse of power, for the majority of mankind, the divine eye or spiritual vision no longer functions but it has left a witness to his existence in the pineal gland. And when the spiritual element in man 
reigned supreme over the intellectual and psychic elements, the third eye, which is the pineal gland, was an active organ. And in that stage of evolution during human life, the greatest impediment to spiritual development and especially to the acquirement of yoga powers is the activity of our psychological senses or pardon me, our physiological senses when the divine powers and attributes of the godlike man of the Moabite nation had been made the servants of the newly awakened physiological and psychic passions of the physical man, then the third eye pineal gland lost its power of vision. The sin was not in using the newly developed creative powers, but in abusing them. And there can be no physical inequality, inequity, pardon me. Um, yeah. As the body is simply the organ of the spiritual man. Repeat, there can be no physical iniquity as the body is simply the organ of the spiritual man. And in the case of the Moabites, it was precisely the spiritual being which sinned. And then there's a map of the Yucatan of Central America, which is ancient Central Africa. And if man's use of the physical body should be such that he could be neither animal nor spiritual being, then he must be born human and not angelic, who, that's H-U, is the Germanic language, and it means spiritual being or spirit being. So human means spirit being. The word man is also from the Germanic and is referred to the animal part of mankind. Hence, tradition shows that higher involved beings offer themselves as the redeemers of man by endowing him with human affections and aspirations. The fall of the Moabite nation was the conclusion of a cycle of experiences just as all things begin live through and finish cycles of experiences. At the same time, a new cycle of experiences was beginning for different types of beings. And out of the ruins of the old comes the birth of the new. And this is an eternal truth, and it applies to all modes of life, from the simple atom to entire galaxies. As above, so below. Realizing this, Yaqub took the best of what was being destroyed to 12 female Moabite genius scientists and mated them with a being in whom Yaqub saw the seed of a potential much improved race of men to the people, the earth during the cycle. In short, the best of what was being destroyed of the Moabite nation was blended together with the potential best in order to bring forth a new race of man much improved over the one of, at that time. The name that is given to that being is Negro Yavera Arebo, the animal chimpanzee. At the time of Yaqub's experiments, the Earth's atmosphere was very different. There were planets in the solar system that are no longer visible in this day and age. Having inherited tremendous occult knowledge and mystical powers from his priesthood or priestly father, Morluakinil, Yaqub was able to communicate with beings from other planets whom were more mystically steeped in magic and science than he was. He even traveled to their plants with them in order to increase his own knowledge. In the fourth chapter of Genesis, references are made to some of these beings from outer space who are called the sons of God. Yaqub learned how to experiment with all forms of magic, and it is even stated in the volume two of the secret doctrine by H.P. Blavatsky 
that the divine kings descended and taught men sciences and arts, for men could no longer live in the first land known as Eden. A knowledge of biology, anatomy, organic chemistry, pigmentation, botany, electronics, and the magnetic laws of opposite attraction, evolving steel and iron elements were some of the sciences that women scientists and Yakub used to create the ruddy-skinned sons through animalistic experimentation so as to manifest the great human bouquet, quote unquote, human bouquet. Through a measurable process of global amalgamation with the Asiatic nation, but much more important than the Moabites' knowledge of the physical sciences were their understandings of the occult or hidden forces which were utilized to manifest, to make manifest the objects of their experiments. Seeing the errors which were resulting in the collapse and ruin of his generation, Yakub, possessing a tremendous ego, desired to show the ruling Moabite officials that his brilliance could produce better beings. But even though he was refused his heart's desire, he was still given dominion over a group of islands on which he was allowed to study and to conduct experiments. That's where they get the Isle of Dr. Moreau that the Europeans do, because they know the history. With a partly twisted purpose in mind to show up the Moabites. So this is where his ego comes in and to humanize the present civilization in order to keep it on the upswing. He labored for 40 years on these islands until his experiments bore fruit. Yakub then used the mountain and jungle regions of the Yucatan, Honduras, Venezuela, Argentina, and the Amazon jungle of Brazil as the environment for his first creations. And the waters of the Pacific Oceans were used in addition to Central and South America. Yakub took the best of the Moabite nation, which represented civilization, intellect, and spirituality, and made it it with the potential best of the upcoming race, which represented cunning, ruthlessness, and spirituality. These experiments resulted in the culmination of the fall of the Moabite civilization and the rise of another, which brought ignorance, superstition, human hatred, amalgamation, medical science, human warfare, bloodshed, destruction, starvation, and sorrow, such as the great price humanity has paid for the human bouquet. Using strict and rigid birth control laws, Yakub made it the first of the created ruddy skinned sons of the Asiatic more of more no with yeah with the Asiatic women scientists participating in the experiments. They in turn produced both male and female of the ruddy skinned sons with the pale skinned females in order for them to reproduce their own kind of the same shade of skin both male and female, all quote unquote Europeans are the descendants of the Asiatic woman and her son, Yaku. Thus, the Asiatic woman is definitely the quote unquote God of love and wisdom who, what some Muslims term as the devil and her sons who converted the world into that which is termed Hell. Prior to the creation of the ruddy skinned, blonde haired, bodied sons, the diseases of leprosy, tuberculosis, TB, and syphilis was unknown to the kinky haired, olive hued, or dark brown skinned Asiatic nation. Moreover, Yakub and his staff of scientists discovered that the amalgamation, amalgamation between the Asiatic sons and the blonde females was the greatest weapon to combat the new diseases. It was also necessary for the blonde sons to become social isolates on the islands of which 
pardon me, of the high seas in order to prevent the spread of the new and dreaded diseases. During this period, the blind women lost their identity as a result of long processes of amalgamation. The diseases disappeared with the ruddy shade of skin on global scales. The light olive skinned Asiatic uh, with straight or curly black hair and with black or dark brown eyes resulted. These amalgamated Asiatics were endowed with cunning and with wisdom. It was also this group which resorted to amalgamation with the outcast blonde sons of the islands, which resulted in the mass reproduction of blonde children who paved the way for the great rise of the outcast sons of leprosy, leprosy quote unquote, through the powerful and intriguing influence of the ruddy skinned blonde daughters referred to as the Red Queen Tribal Rulers, quote unquote, Red Queen Tribal Rulers with their red sun chieftains. They comprised the vandals who promoted vandalism and the, uh, in the Northern Hemisphere. They are the ones who were the Indian trails on the, on the Indian trails because the so-called white people are the real Indians. The direct descendants of red people, the red-skinned Negroes. Jakub Kukasus Kushitis called the red-skinned people Negroes. This attribute was given to them in honor of the Negro Yavera Arrebo chimpanzee, their literal earthly father. Yakub gave his last name to the light olive and yellow-skinned children of his creation with the straight or curly black hair and black or dark brown eyes, namely Kushitis Israel or Kush Israel. This resulted in the mighty Kushite nation, the Babylonians and the Chaldean nation. Furthermore, Yakub called the darker complexion members of his creations Caucasians or Caucasians after his own middle name and thus the Asiatic nation which comprises three fourths of the world's population are the Caucasians and the Europeans are the Negroes. Now, do you not see how confused the Negroes, blacks of North America really are? It is not in the course of natural law that man should become a perfect being all at once. Mankind must evolve, yet he has all the seven principles latent in himself from his birth. He must learn to develop these latent tendencies. The fifth principle of mind developed even more slowly. And those who were ready and received but a spark of the fifth principle constitute the average humanity, which has, the, has to acquire its intellectuality during the present cycle of evolution after which they will be ready in the next cycle for the full reception of the sons of wisdom. Whereas those who are not at all ready are the latest human species who are hardly evolved from their last transitional lower forms. And these people whose reasoning powers are very traditional lower forms, these people whose reasoning powers are very little above those of the animals, are not unjustly treated by nature. It is just that they are simply the latest arrivals among the human family that were not ready for intellectual stimulation, but who have to evolve during the present cycle. Can I stop you? Let me just read this last paragraph okay. and I'll deal with color and vibration. All right. Evolution is the eternal cycle of becoming. We are taught and nature never leaves an atom unused. Moreover, from the beginning, everything in nature tends to become man. All impulses of the dual centripetal and centrifugal forces are directed toward one point, man. This began the astral man, who is the reflection of the creative powers called 
the builders, quote unquote. Man is the alpha, quote unquote, and the omega, quote unquote, of objective creation. All souls that incarnate in this earth planet come seeking knowledge. These essences, in, intelligences, and conscious spirits are entities seeking to become more conscious by uniting with more developed matter. And these essences are too pure to be distinct from the universal essence, but they are desire material experience experiences. So they must pass through earthly human experiences to become quote unquote, all wise and to be able to return to their quote unquote, original state by way of a quote unquote ascending evolutionary cycle period okay two things first of all a lot of questions um i know you, you haven't you haven't read at all but a lot of people a lot of folks are asking where this what book you're reading from so what what is this story? is this is the lesson you can take a screenshot of this This is a of synopsis. This is a synopsis of the human history registered in the Library of Congress Copyright Office that's issued to mainly to people who are members of the Order of the Great Seal. And almost everybody in government and people in all secret societies have this information. However, most of them who have pledges to the Pope, the Rome, and others will not reveal this information because it will destroy the institutions that they have established to control humanity, all of which are being dismantled during this cycle. Okay, I want to just go back. To that has much to do with the politics. Once you understand this, you even understand the politics. I want to go back to just a part that you just read. Yeah. Um, which, which here, was... we read up to... We didn't even go. We didn't go to hand yeah, he that. Here we oh, stop right here. here. So here you were talking about. I think back here, direct sentence. Here, go. Okay. Uh, direct the, the direct sentence. So they don't know we watch it, so you don't change this. Yeah. Change what? Oh yes. Okay. Okay. Direct descendants of the red people, the red skinned Negroes. So let's get clarification on this, because you say here, or it says here rather, it says furthermore. Uh, when it starts to talk about who's what, it's, it's removing the it's it's re and basically what this is doing is removing what is known as as prox proxy projection. These are two things that that if you know the history, you know that they've been practicing. Number one, they do things in other people's names, and they do what you call a lot of social trading of places. Right. So that's right, and funny. so they'll call you Negro when they're the Negro. And they build a history around that. That's why it was necessary for them in 1863 to start altering the books. And now in relationship to this from a, a political perspective, this is why for many of you start studying the history of the fall of, of Germany and, and also recognize a lot of uh, the philosophies of the Nazis and others, you can start seeing things that they know that they're not telling you of them trying to claim the birthright because they're trying to claim the right. So speaking of the Nazis, you know, we know that the story allegedly is that when, oh, yeah. uh, that allegedly is that. Um, when they talk about the Aryan. With the Aryan, so right. Now you need to know, remember we was talking about before it, Dr. J? Yes. So we, this is why people need to be clear. Aryan is not a race. That's number one. Although they've been told, you've been told that. Aryan is a priesthood, and the priesthood of the Aryan priesthood deals with the zodiac or the twelve tribes, which is really the zodiac. If you all will look at the, at the at the um the graphics of a zodiac symbol of the twelve tribes of the zodiac, you'll see they're all animal and human forms mixed. That's what I wanted to say to you. So some of these, uh, you know, we were talking about the experiments that uh, Yakub was doing, and to over over a forty year period. 
we get the movie, the ship, the movie, the, Do the Island of Dr. Moreau, and, and which then, would be a, a, another name, another way they put another name to, hit to, dis exactly to disguise that. the experimentation that was going on, which again then would explain the a lot of the so called hieroglyphic pictures exactly. and so forth of the half man, half once you know beast. the history, a lot of things that you've seen, both in movies and fairy tales, is really telling you. The human condition. So these were experiments that were going on here over this period of time. I mean, they push it back yeah. into an earlier uh, time, but it's not as early as you think it is. Early, yeah. So there's a lot of manipulation that was going on in the Yucatan jungles that have now we talked about it. Have the labs have grown over? They say there's, exactly there's, there's things under the jungle, uh, you know, under the jungle foliage and so forth. But this is the place where. Um, uh, many of these so-called mythical beasts that allegedly are in Egypt which exactly. are, were actually um, right here. pictured probably here in the Grand Canyon area, yeah. and, uh, and then in the in the South America. Because it'd be obvious, like like South, example. Yeah. Many of you will know as an example. Um, just in in the, probably some of the stuff is available now because a lot of Europeans tell a lot of history. Uh, just do a little just snapshot research on coal mines in Virginia area, and you'll find them finding old wheels, old carts, and machinery and gears that with carbon dating amount to 300 million years. Forget a couple of thousand. Even tools. And they closed the mines up and flooded them. They stopped operations. But that much information is exposed. The other deal of it is you already most of you already know about um the Smithsonian. As a matter of fact, the Smithsonian Institute that with its main 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 headquarters in Washington, District of Columbia, was specifically erected for that very purpose to start hiding this history. They now you do the research and you'll find that they have a lot of stuff that they literally threw in the oceans that for for not to have a chance to be revealed. And then they have a lot of stuff in the, the lower floors that the people never go to that's far beyond in numbers what they show publicly. But again, now you understand, when you understand the history of Yakub, you will understand why all secret societies wear the Moors fez in their ritual chambers. And you'll know why the Popes of Rome and the Bishopric in their chambers Bow down to the great Moabitus. Just saw some pictures. The Mo the, that's the great Moabitus. The and so forth. That ain't no black woman. That's the great Moabitus. You know, and, and this is back to where people, where you talk proxy, proxy projection. With proxy projection, because remember, after the Wigamore Party operations of 1854 in Philadelphia, that's when they start calling themselves white people. You got to remember before that, they were known as rednecks or the red, the redskins. Then what they do, they create a history and say the redskins Indians, Indian, yeah. and then to apply it to some of the uh, uh, brothers and sisters of the islands when the real deal is they're doing what you call projected proxy reconstructed history to interject themselves into the land claims, etc. And this is where you get the argument of um uh in the book in the book of genesis where, where uh rebecca uh with esau and yaku and um isaac he was going blind right mm -hmm. and uh, where they're still in the birthright mm -hmm. and the issue of the bowl of red pottage see all these are symbols right red flag red pottage now he was a man of the field right so a man of the field ain't got nothing to, what would a man of the field with knowledge of the field come home hungry and give up his birthright for a bowl of red pottage? Contradiction. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand the allegory. See, but if you don't know the history, you'll be looking at it literally because the history is not told. But once you know the history, you understand the issues. And then you, you, yeah, right. you also have the lepers. It, in the, the, the leper, the, now you understand the leper well, the, the, I'm going first to the lepers yeah. of the Bible 
those who had the skin condition you see here they were the ones that were outcast sons of leprosy now you understand why they were taken to the mountains because it was the compatible sun with effect, their skin. Right. Thank you. The sun effect, which is why the sun is being they're tempted to block the sun it, and keep exactly. the sun the sun doesn't you know yes because it'll kill them it, it, you know yeah because <laughs> You know, because I, they are hybrid. The, you know my poem called Sun Kiss. Yeah. <laughs> we are the sun kiss and they are the sunburn. Yeah. 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 So um yeah, so the when you read about uh, read about the the lepers in the Bible, the leprosy, but the interesting thing I wanted to point out is that like you said, trading places. So so Yakub called the darker complexion members of his creations Caucasians with a K, or see what we see now after the whole middle of that Caucasus. Yeah. Thus the Asiatic nation, which you know comprises three fourths of the world's population, which speaks to the the so-called statistic that we make up 13% of the population of, of the U.S., which is a bunch of crap. I think that's bull. You know, but see what you know, see you can see this is the deal. Now those of you out there who are listening who may be uh, uh, Masons or Eastern Stars or Daughters of ISIS or Daughters of the American Revolution, if you're European, y'all already know this. But now this information is out, feel free to talk to your family members to reduce the confusion, because as you all already know, within the next 30 to 40 days, that most uh, concepts with the masses of respecting authority will die. And so there, there will be a lot of confusion um, by, by virtue of that fact. And also, so if those who know that what's coming don't take advantage of people in their evolutionary stages to try to continue the corruption that has been operative here at Midgard, so that um, confusion will be reduced. But also you'll have an understanding of, as you might say, chilling out and not being misdirected by the narratives that will be thrown at you as they're being dismantled from positions of power. Yeah. And they can't do what? Deceive you by trading places and then claiming your estate. Once you understand this and you understand the story of Rebecca, you also understand the, the story of Matawaka. So as you all know that Matawaka, the potentist of Wahasundakuk of the Powhatan, Power uh, Tani Confederation is rewritten in history as Pocahontas. There is no Pocahontas. That's Matawaka, potentus, daughter, potentus of Wahansunakuk, a chieftain of the Power Tani Confederation. And that is the area where you have the Trail of Tears where they ran us all out of the Virginia area virginia down to the carolinas all the way down to the land of flowers that you call florida and this is where you get the seminole wars that they call the seminole wars and so the the uh reconstructed history in order to create confusion they called us indians but the real deal is they're the indians or the redskin sometimes referred to as the redneck now once you understand that you don't get caught up with these social engineering terms you go back to the right of blood because when, when it all boils down you know like the bible talks about with all this confusion that's taking place on the earth when you look at read the septuagint or the bible or quran right when you start looking at resolution or the revolution what is there a, there's a general synopsis of the story told of how do we solve all this conf confusion what is one of the conclusions that's presented in all those books that the day will come that every nation must return to its own. In other words, all cross claims of a state must be resolved. This is why the true identities of everyone must be exposed. This is another reason why the hybrids created the nom de gear so they could interject themselves into history that and, and parts of history of the human family where they really don't even exist. This is why they're always referred to anywhere in the world as what? Exploiting, intruding, alien colonists. Because they have no birthright. Now, now when you look at um, even when 
uh, Ralph and um, uh, there was Ralph. Yeah, they were de uh, dealing with um, uh, the um, wanting to get a, a, a claim in the estate. This is why they were competing to uh, go in matrimony with Matawaka, and they rewrite her as um, Pocahontas. And uh, so when you do the research here, you'll find that the first aristocracy, aristocracy was made in a triangular village off the river, a tributary of Mississippi, a tributary off it, and they call it the James River for King James. And that's the first aristocracy. And remember, they threw her off overboard in Gravesend, England. They murdered her. And then they made their claim here. Because remember, the matriarchy. So once you understand this, you understand all of that history, even with the misrepresentation. Now you understand the political arm of Kyklos. So the political arm of Kyklos, keep in mind, Kyklos, official mission of Kyklos are the grand protectors of the Constantinian creed. They will present it in history as the grand protectors of the Christian creed. It's really the Constantinian creed. That is now commonly told to you in history will be Ku Klux Klan. Now you understand their issue with you. Now I'll, I'll give you a little bit here. I'll give you a little bit here so you'll understand their politics. It, it, I'm, yeah, I'm going I'm to address yeah, this. Yeah. Go ahead. Dr. So I want to go back just to part that he, he that uh, Grand Sheik read um, towards the end of the section when he talked about the evolution is the eternal cycle of becoming. And this is important for us to, to uh, overstow it and, and understand. There is an evolutionary process, and you'll hear it a lot of late. We are ascending. You have choices whether or not you're going to ascend and evolve into a higher level of, of consciousness, they say. So we have, man has also the animalistic part of us, too. So we have to evolve, if That's you will. That's called the higher self and the lower higher self. So we have to evolve to that to, for that higher. Um, and you got to know, see, now you understand the metaphysical. When you see Juali talk about the higher self and lower self, yeah, we have to come yeah, out of the animal exactly. yeah, from that animal tendencies and instincts and evolving, if you will, um, and developing. So we're going through a process right now. Everything is cyclical. So we're going through a process of an evolutionary process. Hence, um, Jacob's ladder. You see, up you see on the uh, on the the thing we see the ladder is the DNA. The the ladder is you know where where they shut off some of our capabilities a lot of our qualities have been like you know like they turned the switch off on you know the mass uh, ability to be intuitive and 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 psychic and all of those other things that oh, some folks seem to have and others don't well we all had that we all had those abilities so in order to keep control or take control they they had to tweak us and dumb us yeah, down so to the genome operations with genetics right. mutations to making seedless, taking life to out of the away. food, yeah. to shut down your pineal gland, it has a purpose. Right. It's not, people keep thinking it's for money, like they say. When it when you're not dealing with money, you're dealing with an estate. Right. And they're dealing with claiming your right of estate. Yeah. So if you don't know the, the real human history and condition, they are, they are in control of the narrative and will easily misrepresent the information because you don't have a root knowledge. And it is very important for us to make sure that we are being as pure as possible in our intake. What are we taking in? What are you ingesting? You know, things that are being trying to be forced upon us is a way of another level of experimentation, so to speak, that took place here but not 
for the purpose of evolution, but for devolution or devolution to, exactly to devolve us, to take us or keep us down at a place where we will not be able to function with the energy. As you always say, Grand Sheik says, we've gone through the photon belt. We, we, we're, we're on this rocket ship. Each one of us is like a ship. And, you know, does your ship have the right fuel in it to make the journey? You know, we is going the to school. Know that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So it's important to see that what's going on now has much to do with do we evolve it's and, all connected. and do we ascend and, and, and become more of the higher self and, you know, advance it. And we have a choice. And that's the thing. You have a choice. That's why it, that's why the emphasis is always put in philosophy. Free will is so important in contract law, which is something, though, we didn't have in the earlier parts. We didn't have the knowledge of choice. We did. Well, I mean, we, well, well, we didn't exercise. When I'm saying at the very beginning, we've been evolved. We've been evolving up. So more the more, like I said, knowledge will increase. And that's where we are, you know. So, you know, knowledge is pretty good, but it has to become wisdom and it has to become applied to become wisdom that you can actually do something. So a lot of folks gain a lot of knowledge, but don't have much they, wisdom. They get data and yes. don't know application. Yes, absolutely. Now, when, you, when you're looking at what you're saying, Dr. J, then you go into uh, indexus librorum prohibitorum, indexus librorum Expurgatorious. Now you understand why that policy exists. Absolutely. The policy has not changed. The names have changed in the cycle as the rebodying, the evolutionary bodying. So those who don't know how nature works don't recognize themselves as their own forefathers. Other thing I want to you, say though to Grand to them, Grand Sheik, is that there is. We hear a lot, and I don't know if it was called something different before, but we hear a lot about the uh, Akashic realm. The Akashic library, while, while they have stolen a lot of things, and not everything, as you said, was burned, a lot of stuff was pilfered, and, and, and they, they wouldn't have just burned all the knowledge because they needed to gain the knowledge. So they put it in a place where we were not able now, to act. Interjection. Okay. What are those places? The multiple level tunnels beneath the Vatican and also the tunnels beneath Philadelphia and Washington District of Columbia. But here's what I want to say. Those are physical and locations. Smithsonian. Those are physical locations. But yeah, what, well, just, what, what's yeah, being, what's downloading to me to tell us, to tell you, 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 and you is that in the, uh, in the uh, if you will, from a more metaphysical level we're able to access that that knowledge in the mind, that, it, through the mind that. but you've got to ascend to be able to to uh, activate to, to find it, that's the to get it now that's the throne of Dawood or the throne of david also referred to as the throne of god also the ascension anointing your head with oil the ritual implies the activation of the spinal yeah and also called you know caduceus when you see them snakes going up the rod or the staff, right? Or you see the pharaohs, the yeah. hold of the rod and yeah. the staff like this. Right. Says the rod and your staff shall comfort you. That has a metaphysical see it's both government and then it has a metaphysical side. So that's the evolutionary scale. So as the animal form, the animal body, hominidae, evolves and becomes human or spirit man the activation and this is where you see in the crypto in the grand canyon and also on the other side with the pyramids you'll see the eye or they call the eye of Horus, that single eye the eye be single that, that represents the, the pineal gland mm -hmm. if you look at the if you look at the iris it's the position of the pineal gland which actually is a liquid actually a liquid electrical form that's embodied in a gland in the middle of the brain. So what you see in the graphics is not what it is, but yet it is what it is. But if you don't know the culture, you assume it literal and they will teach it literal in order to control you. And so they have secret societies where they have this knowledge and they don't expose it to the masses. So that gives them the power over you 
because they can control you with dogmata or what you call reconstructed versions of your own culture. Mm -hmm. And this is where you see them see the, the symbol. And I know you all seen these at these churches and you see these in, in, in uh, the halls of politicians. You'll see them have a badge on the back of their vehicles and they'll have a head of a sphinx. And you'll see a Moorish sword over the head of the sphinx with two edges and the crescent moon at the end of the sword, the Moorish sword scimitar. That means the subjugation of the Moabitess. So if they subjugate the woman, they subjugate the nation. This is why those who really don't understand the history and reality, when they look at the social politics, you'll hear them make the false statement, the misrepresented statement of the only free people here are the white man and the black woman. That's where they get that term from. <laughs> but if you don't understand the context, you'll look at it incorrectly. Are we clear? Mm -hmm. And this is why for the, many of you who, who are Eastern stars or, or daughters of ISIS have an experience where some uh, uh, paleolith or some 32, they may not identify themselves as 32, 33 degree masons, but sometimes they'll do things, what you would call to help a Moabite woman to get more degrees uh, or gifts sometimes or indirectly. And this is another reason why they have been using the Moabite woman through the uh, the chancery courts to destroy their own husbands, which is why you don't have men in the house. People need to understand where that has a where it has its origin. They're attacking the nation. But if you don't understand, you think it's racism, which is the Carlos Linnaeus phenotype operations. You need to understand what its real origin is. Once you understand what its real origin is, you can fight back. But you can't fight what you don't understand. And how do we fight? By knowledge. And the knowledge, the wisdom is the power. That's why they say your, your battle is not with ar arms. Your battle is with principalities and powers. But if you don't know what the principalities are, which we just named them, we're exposing them, and the powers of the powers of self and the evolutionary cycle, it makes you stop burning energy on things that are of no worth. It makes you stop burning energy or wishes and dreams on promises that are never kept by them, promising you 14th Amendment Negro status. Absolutely. That will never happen. Absolutely. It can't happen. And you have a choice. The choice is, do you acquiesce to, you know, the propaganda the fear or tactic do you study and all the yourself? Study yourself, know yourself, ascend exactly. to your highest levels that you came here to and operate would, in any way. Now you understand what the 33 group uh, Mason was really telling you we shall overcome. But he should have he'd been better if he just explained to you what it really meant. Rather than threaten room and just get knocked off, and then when he just, you know, if you know you're gonna get knocked off, just tell the truth. <laughs> You know, you don't want to beat around the bush. You know, somebody, and, somebody was asking about whether or not you had a, had traveled to, I think, another dimension of reality or something. I'm not sure. I know you've, you've well, had some experiences when I was young. Yeah, talk about them. Right, 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 right. But, you know, I mean, you know, you know, and, and it's sort of like this. Just tell it. Because it's remember, this is in people. They don't know it's in them. Do you understand? Because once, because it'll ring with your, it'll ring with your genetics. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, it's not unlike, you know, like where they have the story of the guys going around kicking everybody's keisters, and they came past this a shepherd boy that wasn't afraid. And his name was Dawood, and they came talking trash to him. They're gonna kick his butt too. And so, so Dawood reached into the, the stream and picked up. Five. Five smooth stones. You got to look. It's an allegorical story. How did the stones get smooth? Because the waters of wisdom have been running over those stones for many ages. But yet he only needed one smooth stone. So what are the five principles? Love, truth, peace, peace freedom. freedom. So what is the first principle? Love. love, love and he it. struck him what? In the middle of the head. What? In the right middle here. of the crown. Right, right here, right? Yeah. What is term, terminus right here? The forehead. 
the thalamus terminates across the crown of the nose. The crown of the nose is like what? Pyramidal shape. You see? Between the eyes. And they call it what? Cyclops. You got to understand all these allegories. And so he's struck Goliath. Then he do what? Took Goliath's head off with his own sword, which means he took his word. own stuff. So once you understand the history, you understand why how we're using the Bible that they've used to enslave the people to actually start liberating the people. Mm -hmm. Once you understand its origin and the allegories, you're mentally liberated. And this is where Yahshua say, know ye the truth, and the truth will make, make you, you free. free. Make you free. Make you free. So now you understand who the Negro really is. You don't go around calling your brothers and sisters, that's my nigga. Because you're casting a spell. You're trading places not knowing it. And if you look at the picture, like they say, of the chimpanzee that they um, uh, use to cross with, you know, to, to create them, the, the thin lips, the chimpanzee has the same, we got full, you know, thick lips. That's why they you see a lot of them doing what, putting collagen and stuff in their lips, lips up. And using, they, one of their major chemical products that they sell billions, not millions, of oh, notes top. a year is sun tanning lotion. Two, to, to make claim and to protect themselves from the sun. Because remember, as we've gone through the futon belt, which we told you years ago, the sun is now, if you all pay attention to the sun, it looks more white. It sure does. It don't look yellow like it used to. Many of you have noticed that, but you did, may not know what's happening in the solar system. Those who know the history know. The cosmology know is because we've already gone through the futon belt. And our arc wave is closer, so you have a different energy field. Therefore, all things that were, were created in the third dimensional density of the Piscean age can't survive. This is why a hybrid European is putting chemtrails trying to block the sun. He's buying time. It ain't going to work, but he's buying time. So now, so because he's trying to buy time, what is he doing? He's messing with the weather patterns. Mm -hmm. You know how they talk about harp, the angels doing harp in the heavens? No, harp is an electrical system of magnetic waves that they're casting off the cloud off the stratosphere. Angel to angel change the, the there you go. Angel, That's harp. In other words, messengers. Because so remember, harp is both sound. See, so people look at angels doing the, the physical harp, the musical instrument. And they're looking at it one way, but the reality is an allegory and strings, for the strands. scientific use of sound and what microwaves off the upper stratosphere bouncing back to the atmosphere, changing the weather patterns in order to do what? Protect themselves from dying. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna share this. Good. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna share this, y'all, because this this cut. I didn't plan this, but I think this this good. is good. This is something I wrote in 20, 2016. Mm -hmm. It is called the Sun Kissed. Y'all, some of y'all oh, heard yeah, this course. before. It's called the Sun Kissed. It says, "I know I'm loved by the sun. You see, I am sun kissed while they are sunburned. It's a cosmic love affair for which others yearn. Our interaction talk about me and the, us and the sun." Mm -hmm creates liquid gold, but when they get too close, it makes them grow old. The sun within me activates a life-sustaining precious matter about which much scientific chatter has created a sort of a feeding frenzy. Now the desperate vamps are out to get me. They now want my melanin to help them exist in a cosmic love affair now designed for the sun. Wait a minute, they, sure. let me finish the end. Sure. They now want my melanin to help them exist in a cosmic love affair designed for the sun and the sun kiss. Mm. See, we the sun kiss. The sun kisses us, you know, now. and we, we can get brown, but we don't burn like, like to the extent that our skin is going, you know, peel off or that we got these melanomas and all of that because now, we, we in the sun are one. Let's interject. 
This is for this is for those who get caught up in the Carlos Linnaeus and Blumenbach psychosis of racism. Right? Don't play into that game. Keep in mind, we don't hate the Negroes. Do you understand that? That, that we're telling you the truth so you can understand what yeah. our relationship is, but also why they hate you. Yeah. They're envious because you're the birthright heirs of Midgard, and they know by nature their time is limited. The interesting thing is, look, I'm looking behind to see in the thing, the, the, the book, but we didn't become the Negroes. We were never the Negroes. Never were. We never were the Negroes. Now, you now see the book? Bible, give, me, give me the Bible. Where's the point about the Bible? The Bible's a probably written over behind, up and behind. Let me get up. There's probably some behind there saying that, like, row two. What are you looking for specifically? This Bible. Um, what what scripture? Malachi one, three, four. I just get it. Is this it? No, that's the one with oh, this guy. The, pull it up. Malachi what? Um, because it only has four chapters. Close out of the Old Testament. Yeah, I know where what it is, but I know what you wanted. Now, C H I chapter. Now, so you all need to pay pay attention. What chapter or what? Three. Because it's only four chapters. Yeah, I would, this one. But remember, four. It's only four. Now, pay attention to numbers. How many chapters does it have? Four. All right. So it's only four, right? Yeah. So you got your four corners of the earth, right? And your four elements. Also, Yahweh. Now you already know that goes into the space aliens, mm -hmm. or what you call Anunnaki, really. But let's let's be clear. Read chapter three. Behold, I will send my messenger. And he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek or ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? Who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah or Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as in the days of old, as the former day, as in the former years. And I will come near to you to judgment and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers and against the false swearers and against those that oppress the hireling in his wages, the widow and the fatherless that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts, for I and the Lord I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man, <laughs> this one, this scripture, oh my, will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me, but ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and in offerings? Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. About now, you, now you understand nationalization. <laughs> now you understand nationalization. Now, even when you see what the land of Judah, see in Yaku, you want it's all tied together. It's in the state. It's your birthright. And the son of righteousness arises. And if you go through the whole book, the son of righteousness and the birthday S O N is S U N. Yeah, I think so. I'm it, just showing you how it shows you the keys. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that. Uh... But if you don't know the allegories, if you don't know the original Berber culture, the priesthood have been using the book to enslave humanity Absolutely. rather than to liberate them. And using the chapter three to rob the people exactly. of their finances, with, you know, of their birthright. It's like nothing but a, like a mafia host. Hit, now, they now, be hitmen in the church. Look, pay your tithes, and I I rebuke yeah. the devourers. Nobody will get you. You know. So anyway. <laughs> so they do what? Create problems and then sell you to cure, but they never cure. Honestly, honestly. Well, go ahead. Well, did you want me to read more? Of that? Yeah, I wanted you to read the Son of Righteousness. And I want oh, you to spell oh. it out for the people. Oh, okay. Well, let me see. Where I see that. Did I actually see that? Let me get down here where it is. I don't even want to read all this stuff if I didn't have to, y'all. Let me just find it. Um, because 
it is in there. And the in, in, in this interesting thing is that I um, was, I have a picture of myself, if you remember, when we went to um, the, the beach and was sitting there at sun sunrise. And there it is with me. Um, the sun's coming up with, mm -hmm. with, with in wings, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So here it is. Let me you're, see you're the picture still. What's the, yeah, yeah. So yeah. specifically, let me see righteousness. The son of righteousness. Where is it? Mirages with healing in the yeah. Um, So that's Malachi chapter four. Mm -hmm. Chapter four. All right. All right. So Malachi chapter four, verse two. Um, says that the son of righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings. But let me kind of find it. And you all can follow by going to your own libraries and and um, do a cross a cross reference. Let me, let me, let me get that, y'all. I don't I don't I don't have my book. Okay, this is we want the King James version because all of them don't say the same thing. Here we go. It says, but unto you that fear my name shall the S-U-N of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Now, when you hear that, many people have heard that preached, is preached in the Bible from the pulpit, the, 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 the picture, because you talk yeah, about words, exactly. get pictures, the picture has always been the Jesus son. See the, the, the honing them. The, see, the them. See, S-U-N and S-O-N are homonyms right. in language and grammar. Right, right, right. So, but if you don't know the culture, you don't know that the culture is based on cosmology. Right. The old. And so the cosmology truth is the physical sun and the hidden sun. Is, is where the healing is. Because when you think in terms of what they were, from a cultural standpoint, the sun gave warmth. The light. sun gave the light of and the sun, healing. healing to the to the to the physical body, healing to the crops. It it gave them light so they could see potential danger. And what you said earlier, Doctor D, and continue with your thoughts because because this this is a teaching for a moment. Now you understand why the hybrids are put so much concentration since the fifties. People just find it out last few years, but they've doing it since the fifties. Chemtrails. With barium and aluminum, which has caused Alzheimer's and everything, and also has killed off a lot of the insects. That's why you don't see a lot of June bugs and bees like you see them used to see them. Right. Because they kill them all. They're trying to block the sun. Why? Because the sun arises with healing, so it kills the mutant. Yeah. It, 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 it's it's na it's we that nature herself is bringing cure. Yeah. So it was just to where land of Judah, do you see? Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely, the sun is there's healing uh, with the sun. Yeah. So yeah. now you understand why they do when they do movies and everybody's partying, just like you see all the so-called celebrities. You see them doing all of their their shows. They interject the symbols of different what you call satanic symbols, and them doing satanic rituals. And they darken everything. They put red back on. They they turn all the lights down. What does that symbolize? They invited us to the celebrity party, right, Doctor J? Mm -hmm. So we went to the celebrity parties. How we know? We just going to the celebrity parties. So Doctor G brings a cake, and I'm bringing matches to light the candles. So we in the party. They didn't turn the lights out and all this stuff, and everybody saying Happy Birthday to you and doing all this. And and I'm coming out with the lighter to light the candles. Everybody wants to beat me up, and everybody goes. Put it out. Why? Because vampire can't stand the light. <laughs> <laughs> so the son of righteousness comes what? With healing in his wings. Once you understand the allegory, you can understand why they make movies where <laughs> vampires say, yeah, I'm coming to the party, but make sure all the lights out. No, I don't want no candles on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to bring you big candles. We're going to do all uh, spotlights. No, no lights, please. Yeah, we just have to realize that the, <laughs> it's allegorical, but it's telling you it's true. It is so true. It is so true. It's true, y'all. So I don't know. We, <laughs> look, we we into the two hours now. We get we are, but yeah. you know, but we we just having fun. Yeah, but we just yeah. wanted to talk about that. And um, I don't know. I know. I know. I'm gonna be inundated 
with people asking, is this available? No, it's just only to add that. Who, who gets this? That's in the lesson book set today. Is this going to be in what? Okay, it so will be available. before you, so, be, so it will be available. Do not call Dr. G about this yet because this is but one that, of, this is this one. particular is in the flash drive under a great seal. You sure? I got to look. Well, if that's the case, um, Most of you, you got it. it. You might have it. Y'all ain't been reading. Y'all ain't been reading. Starting out, told we gonna make you scholars. Mm -hmm. In the flash drive, we told we gonna give you enough stuff to keep you busy for fifteen years. <laughs> and it's not that people don't have this information. Remember, most of the PhDs and scholars they're under death oath not to reveal this information. That's why they got all these comfortable jobs. But now you see them starting to do what? Tear all of them down. Whether they're actors, comedians, musicians, in all the industries, they're doing what? First, they're going to destroy their reputations. Then they're going to economically slow walk and drain them with a bunch of suits, whether they're real or imagined or made up. And then they're going to tear them down. Then some of them they're going to clone, some of them they're going to kill off. And to reclaim power mm -hmm. as they can. To a degree. However, all of that's being interrupted. Why are we sharing information with all of us family? So that you're not distracted, because they're going to be throwing out all kinds of distractions to distract your energy, to do what? Stagnate your spiritual development, knowing that you weren't really told the truth about what spiritual development really is. It's not sitting around worshiping things. Never been that. It's development of the human body on an evolutionary scale and the activation of the spiritual glands, which include the medulla and the throne of Dawood, which is the pineal gland, and your reconnection to nature, which activates your highest psycho psychic levels, including telecommunication without instruments. They don't want you there. Once you get there, they have no power anyway. That's why they took all the seed, seedless grapes. Get them. Seedless watermelons. Get them. Yeah. They're taking the life. Yeah. See, they're anti-life, anti-light, anti-Christ. You see what it is? You see? It's not secret. They're doing it in your face. But don't get mad at them. Get even. Get knowledge. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. I think that this has been a really great um, discussion. Oh. I know we didn't we we didn't go all the way through everything, well, but we you know do we, have, we, we have to do some commentary and, and so forth. So, we and, do I, what we can. and we we are looking forward to um, coming back and doing our four Friday um, in in person. It was always said, "Don't you always do it live?" But yeah, in person. At the house of reawakening in mind uh we come we'll be back uh beginning of of 2024 mm -hmm. if weather permitting <laughs> as mm -hmm. long as we're not in it because january can you know we don't know what kind of stuff they're gonna well you already know now all right oh, now Lord. so uh, let's let's do some geopolitical updating because yeah, okay. it's because it's because because you gotta understand okay yeah, okay, yeah. What is happening from a metaphysical position that's reflected in the lower realm, meaning that as above, so below, right? right? Mm -hmm. What is occurring? What's happening in the etheric world is reflecting in your carnal realm. But remember, whatever manifests in the carnal realm is already done in the etheric in the ethereal, ethereal in yeah. the ethers yep you will call you refer to loosely as spirit speaking but, of look the ethers i just heard where i don't know what the, the u.s government or somebody was trying to get i don't know what do you call it a uh like how you take a territorial control at one point over the ethers yeah it, that, they they literally that they so <laughs> hung because, power hungry because they got see this Pay attention to what's happening. They will be telling you more and more about UFOs as if it's new, not new. That's because they can't hide it. 
because he's not coming from no it's not that remember let, let's 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 be clear about this All right. they don't have control of these things coming right. so they're jumping ahead to try to control the narratives are we clear right. all right now although they have hidden and destroyed many artifacts it is so embedded that they can't destroy it all meaning that they've lost power because they can't control everything because they are god of this earth but they're not god of the universe okay do you understand mm -hmm. now now the people who have lost their estate and their birthright don't know that the god principle is in them it is not to come outside it is in them already. So the concept that you got to go to some God is incorrect. It is in your L or your elementary structure. And not unlike a seed that is planted in the earth or zygote is planted in the womb. When the sun hits it, it germinates or the spark of life. And this is where those of you who understand the metaphysical nature of the evolutionary scale of the human being or the animal form, lower self, carnal being, to the higher self or the spirit man being, evolutionary scale, understand the principle of monad to nomad. Repeat, monad to nomad allegory and you understand traveling man term for the traveling need not to be that you actually take the physical form this is in others who speak in a metaphysical they would call it astral travel astral traveling the capacity or what is called to ascending unto heaven at will this is symbolized in the lessons of Yahshua where he says you don't have to die to go to heaven. It's allegorical. So he came to show the way, to demonstrate the way. That's why they couldn't kill him. Because right. there is no death. The priesthood did this to, to humanity. All of that must be resolved. Yes. This is another point, although it's not direct, in Yakubian lesson when you understand the evolution of man. Mm -hmm. And you'll recognize it's both what? Yoga spirit and reflected in the political realm even with aunt hagar now you all understand aunt hagar's grave in the Me in mecca but you didn't know that aunt hagar ruled over here but the priesthood know that masons know that illuminati know that they've been keeping it from you who are the real heirs welcome home dorothy you just bumped your head have a good evening. Thank you for sharing with us here at yeah, we, We're Awakening we, Mind. We appreciate the, you know, your participation, and we apologize that we can't always mm -hmm. get, get to all your questions and so forth. Sometimes we see them, and we'll have to address them, you know, at another time. But um, some uh, things we, you, you know, we can't address all these things on here anyway. No, we, we that's have. why we have up close and personal. Yeah. So when we up close and personal, when we have our in persons. Which, like I said, if if all goes well, the fourth Friday of January, and of course we ask that you uh, keep uh, put on your schedule our upcoming um, event. next event that's coming up April twenty seventh. Please save the day, April twenty seventh, twenty ninth through the 29th, twenty ninth, twenty twenty four is our Spring Into Action Conference. We really, really, really want to see your face in the place, and uh, appreciate those of you who are already looking forward to, to being here. Also, I want to say thank you to those of you when we were on last time, Grand Sheik, and we had asked those for you to join, those who couldn't be a part of our 4040 Legacy Group. We, we, we have an opportunity for you be, to become a sustaining mm -hmm. um, member for just nine notes a, a month. We are we have a an expenses coming up in the next, the days, the first six days. I think mm -hmm. it's five or six days of $2,500 oh, $2, yeah. $2, so we can keep our channel. Um, we got about um, a little over 1,200 that came in. Yeah. Um, we need like 1,300 more between now and the next few days, and we don't ask much. Well, often we are not monetized. I'm just telling you like it is. Um, I wouldn't even want to be because it's hard enough for us to say the things that we say, let alone have to to, yeah. 
to be dependent on something that um these uh, channels remember, would give us. You're but, dealing with high priests. This is what people need to understand. You're so, not dealing with different opinions. Yeah, so we want you yes. to again, um, if you can find it in your in your heart and you have it and you can help us, we still we we gotta get like thirteen hundred more up in the next five, six days. And so you know, it's about not eight now, 800 and some of you on here. And by the time tomorrow comes over a couple thousand of you will have viewed this. So I'm talking to you too. Um, you know, here's our cash app and our uh, PayPal. We need your help. Um, wouldn't ask if we didn't need it. And um, ain't too proud to ask. I'm not begging, but we are asking um, for your support. Uh, between now and the next few days, we would highly appreciate it. And we always say thank you to those who already are supporting. You know who you are. So we say thank you to each and every one of you. Grant Sheep, you wanted to say something? Yeah. Yes. Um, let's plan already for the, for the, uh, to continue so you'll understand the geopolitics or you'll understand the current geopolitics. We're going to go into the, um, the Kyklos operations and principles of 1868, which you know as Kyo Klux Klan, that's Kyklos. That's the Ku Klux Klan, their constitution, their creed, their operations, and you'll understand uh, why certain things were done. You'll also understand why George Washington's uh, uh, museum is on the borderline of Mary's land and Virgin. Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. Virgin Mary. Mary. You'll understand what that means. Yep. All right. All right, y'all. We thank you Have so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, Islam and enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you so much. Well, that's the next lesson. Okay. That'll be in two weeks, y'all. You see that? <laughs> All right. All right. Well, the more you will, you understand, you'll understand the world's politics. <laughs> And you won't be deeper and deeper I go. I find what it is I should know. Cause it doesn't matter from time. But you'll reawaken your mind. Oh, come with me. Come to know and find out what is true. Then you'll know what's in store just for you. No more living the life. I can look to the sky and say I'm reawakening minds. Come to know and find out what is truth. Yes, then you know what's in store just for you. No more living the life. I can look to the sky and say I'm reawakening.